We are gonna try out the most popular mods for Monster Hunter Wilds and we are gonna benchmark them and we are gonna find out if they have any impact on performance. By the way, do you wanna know what's the most popular mod right now? Okay, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Uh, we are not gonna install this one, okay? There's a bit of a war in the community between people that like the Persian lady and people that like the blonde blacksmith lady. It seems like right now the Persian lady is winning. I mean, she clearly has the equipment now. And before we go over the mods, I'm gonna give you a disclaimer. It is technically against terms of service to tamper with the game. Tamper with the game includes modding. Will you get in trouble for it? No. As far as I know, nobody has ever been banned for installing a mod unless it is some sort of cheating mod that never happened but they can do it and they reserve the right to do it so be careful of that remember that they it can happen modding is still technically not allowed so you do with that what you want the risk is minimal but there is a risk now every single mod so far requires this thing called ARI framework it is a tool for modifying the engine of the game so we can inject our mods into the game we are gonna get all these mods from nexus mods as you can see uh, about a million people already saw this mod that's pretty crazy so we are gonna get this one first and we are gonna install it and we are gonna get a baseline of how the game runs In Installing it is very simple, all we have to do is drag this one file that's on the zip into the folder of the game, which is on the Steam folder obviously. There we go, and that should make it work. Let's try out the game. As you can see, there's a new window in the game now, and it has all the settings from the mods and stuff. There's a free cam mod, we might play with this a little bit later. That, that sounds kinda interesting. But we're just gonna play the baseline game here and we're gonna try to get a, a bit of a, of a baseline of the FPS we can get here. Okay, you can see our FPS counter in here. We got about 52 FPS. I am gonna do something. I am gonna turn on the, turn off DLSS entirely. I'm gonna push the computer because I got VSync on. If I don't have VSync on, this thing doesn't run very well. Like, I got a lot of screen tearing, but let's disable upscaling. We're gonna go here to uh, native. But as you can see, we already dropped down 20 FPS or so. Oh. Oh, that's that's painful that's painful well yeah we're running on the 40 fps range right now no upscaling the game still looks pretty crap i am running this on high by the way yeah there is like a stutter it's kind of hard to say the movement is not smooth it, it says 40 fps on the counter this is not 40 fps you can see there's like huge dips right there there's like micro stutters everywhere without the lss but very well we got a baseline it is time to install the mods Oh my god, dude, it's only been a week. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna go for that one. I cannot even zoom out to this picture. You don't wanna see what's below that. I am not kidding to you guys. 40% of the mods in this uh, game are like some sort of bikini mod. Like every blurred mod here is because I got the content filter on. Just look at all those mods. Monster Hunter Wilds Optimizer FPS Boost, Low CPU Cleaner Visuals and Better Stability. Huh, what does it say here? Remove post -pro Oh, he got rid of fog. Oh, I wanna install- even if it doesn't give me any performance, I wanna install it already. The fog in this game is so annoying. You cannot see anything. Oh my god. Optimize CPU load, we're gonna see about that. Tweak GPU settings. Interesting, it's not actually a mod, it's actually just a configuration file. They are pu putting their own code in it. Okay, let's check it. It is always a wise idea to back up your original file, so we're gonna put here config original. So in case we don't like the mod, we can just go back to the original file and that's it. And now we are gonna drag this one here. Alright, let's check the game. Oh, this doesn't have B-Sync on, I'm going at 70 FPS right now. Well, that's a good sign. The guy messed with the settings, so we're gonna have to take a look at the settings. Okay, so... Uh, 58 FPS? Wow, look at that! Okay, look at... This is actually really impressive. Like, speed my character doesn't cause almost any lag now I, I can say i can see the graphics are different here so let's take a look at that yeah but i can already tell you like the graphics are different i like the colors i think it is way easier to see what's going on in here for example the textures are hideous so we're gonna have to change that but this feels super smooth this feels like a real game i can already also tell there's something with the geometry of the walls that is different okay let's take a look at what he did okay he's going for fsr that's that's probably part of the oh 
I crashed the game. This game hates it when you change the app scaling and you got OBS on. It is a big problem. I don't know why, because I changed my GPU. It's not a GPU issue. When I got OBS on, weird things happen to this game. That's not the mod though. That, that happens every time I try to change the app scaling or something when I got OBS open. The game crashes because reasons. Yep, this is awkward. I'm gonna have to shut down OBS, I think. Okay, so he did lower the quality of the textures. Let's, let's go up to high. That's gonna be a fair comparison here. Still, it says it only need like four gigabytes of VRAM. He freed up a lot of VRAM somehow. Like what changed here? He disabled fog. Is fog like the only thing that's messing everything up here? Even if your computer can run it, I recommend you enable DLSS quality because the anti-aliasing native of this game is absolute crap. You might as well enable it. In my opinion, it looks better anyway. Okay, here we go and huh, that felt ki kinda laggy at startup, but no, it's still cruising at 59, 55 FPS. The particles are hideous. They look like Minecraft. I don't know if you can see like the dust coming out of my crotch. Yep. Yeah, that's not good. Huh. It does feel a lot smoother though. Yeah. Like it doesn't dip below 50 at all, which we were going down to 40 in the town. There is definitely some loss of detail in, in like that grass thingy, whatever this rock is. What do the monsters look like? Huh, they look about the same. I'm not sure what he did. Like what I tell you is even though it is not okay look at this okay this is what i mean right even though it is not as quote unquote photorealistic getting rid of all the weather effects i can finally see what's going on in this game like holy crap i tell you this feels so much better already and it looks better in my opinion even though again it is not the cinematic realistic experience it is so much clearer holy crap capcom hire this guy Please. Okay, let's do something though. Let's do something because this actually pisses me off. What happens if I enable the uh, this one, the ray shading again? Like, let's see if I disable it. Do I go down in FPS? No, it, it feels about the same. Okay, okay. Wow, this is amazing. I gained at least 10 FPS. Was that like 50 to 60, 20% better performance? Uh, I mean, there's no reason you shouldn't install this. Even if you got an amazing PC, you might as well. This is great. I came in blind, okay? I didn't test this mod before the video i'm pretty surprised somebody got this performance out of the game already it goes to show how little capcom tried right like a guy with a text file can fix the game faster than capcom crazy right also this is not even technically a mod it is a configuration file and you are allowed to change your configuration file so it is not even breaking eula in any way yeah heavily recommend you might have to change some settings i had to change to dlss to make it you know work on nvidia but really freaking good mod holy crap this is gonna i i should have installed this like day one wilds optimizer fps boost low cpu cleaner visuals and better stability <gasps> terrible name amazing mod 10 out of 10 okay yeah 56 fps or so uh, we're gonna leave it at that high 50s 60 more or less that okay this is another popular mod uh, we saw the video from digital foundry that he says that there's a problem with the compression of textures in this game and that's why you when you turn around uh, the game lags so apparently this mod is gonna change the loading of the textures to make it smoother so this one is actually one of the more interesting ones so we gotta drag two files in again and let's see if the game breaks but very well, I am at 57 FPS, you know, like pretty much the same as before. What happens if I spin? Ah, yeah, the sinusoidal whatever wave is still happening and it's still like a 10 FPS variant. That's crazy though that you can do this and the game frame rate moves like this. That This is not normal, uh, like on the speed I'm doing it. If you do it super fast, any game is gonna do that, but that's not the case. I and mean, this is the stick uh, from my controller, right? Let's go outside, let's check out that. Yeah, I feel this is even laggier. Yeah, I do not see any noticeable change for the weather in here at all. So yeah, I do not recommend this one. I do not see what this thing is gonna do. Just take a look at how many NSFW mods this game already Already has. Let's check out the other mods because there is a lot of really good quality of life mods. Okay, that's a neat little cute mod in here. N a weakness icon for every monster. It just says what element the monster is weak to. This should be a thing on the default game, honestly. Uh, let's try it out. Well, according to this thing, all you have to do is drag the file into the folder again. So that looks pretty easy. Skip the intro logos. Oh, I want that. I want that. Like the loading screen, booting up this game takes so freaking long. Anything that helps with that, I want to have. 
have. Okay, so this one you gotta put it on here where it says Ari Framework. It's like a, a little folder inside the game. This one is one I wanted to be in the default game for a while, and this is one I this is why I decided to make this video and try out a bunch of mods because this is the one mod I wanted. Monster Hunter Wilds Overlay. Okay, what does this one do? It shows your damage per second. It shows your the damage of everybody. You can see there is also HP bars. I, I think I'm gonna disable that if I can disable it. I just want the damage meter, honestly, but you can see right there on the top, like there's monsters with HP bars. That feels a little cheating to me. Uh, let's see if, if we can change the settings on that. But here, this is the feature I wanted to be in the core game. Like, why is Capcom not doing this? There's like a little graph on top of here where it shows you the damage that everybody is doing. What's the point of going to endgame and pushing your damage if you cannot tell what's your damage, you know? Like, come on, Capcom. There are some other features, but I do not speak Chinese and I don't care. I just want my DPS meter. Okay, so it says I gotta install Catlib, whatever that is. Let's get that and let's get the overlay. There is also this one, which is pretty funny. They find a way to mod into the game, getting free character edits, because as you guys know, Capcom is trying to charge people five bucks for it. I don't know how much that one is gonna last. I don't really care. I, I don't care about my character, but I thought it was funny. So yeah, I would never endorse you to do that. Capcom deserves those five dollars. They work really hard to giving you like 20 FPS, you know, like that's like what, 50 cents per, per frame? Yeah, they deserve your free money, you guys. Okay, it seems like everything is working off the box here. And as you can see, the element icon is here. Jinda had is weak to fire, Odogaron is weak to water and dragon, and Arc Belt is weak to dragon. I understand you don't want to show this at the start of the game, but once you hit end game, why don't you just show the weakness of the monsters like this? This is so convenient. I don't see a reason not to do it. This is great. So yeah, that mod is gonna stay, absolutely. Now what I want to try out is let's see what happens when I try to get the overlay running. All right, all right. Uh, we can see the HP of the monster, and I think you can disable that. And we can see people's DPS in... Oh, that's tiny. Oh, that's tiny. Can you can you resize that? Uh, you're not even gonna look at it in the video. Okay, no, this is the DPS meter. I am confused. I come from World of Warcraft, right? The DPS chart works. You can see it right here on the top, but it is so tiny. Okay, so if I hit the chat a cabra, what happens? Okay, you can see there is a I show up in the chart below. Oh, okay, you can make it like look decent here. I think I prefer the DPS meter a, a little better, but you can go for both. Okay, that's not bad. This is very configurable. You can change whatever. It's not very easy to understand, but you can absolutely make it work. So the HP bar of the boss, right, at, right there at the top, not a fan. We're gonna disable that right now. So you can disable the cheating parts of this thing, okay? If you want just a DPS meter like I want, let's see, boss widget options, disable. There we go. So what other things is there? Player status, that's the stamina and rolling thing, which I think is also cheating, honestly, because it gives you a timer of how long your animations last. That's cheating. You might wanna use it for practice combos, maybe. That stable goes away. There's also nameplates. Like you can see right there, the HP of people and monsters and stuff. We're not gonna mess with that one. But yes, finally a DPS meter for this game. That's all I wanted, man. Also, the performance mod is going great. I am getting like steady 60 FPS most of the time. I came in ready to like tell you, no, it doesn't work. It's a lie. No, it's, it's not huge, right? But like... It definitely is doing something. Look at that, I topped the DPS chart even though I showed up late. I can flex on these noobs, okay? I showed up in the best uh, weapon, level 8 weapon, and these guys got like a level 6. But I feel bigger, I feel like a big important man. That's all that matters here. There is, however, one last thing we have to check out, guys. I have to do it. Okay, so I installed the mod, everything looks fine. What have they done to you, Persian lady? Persian lady is really cold in here, you're not supposed to, to not have a coat on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think they, they, oh yeah, there's some silicone in her body now too. <laughs> Uh, guys, I am not kidding. If you sort all the mods by the most popular, right there, the, the fifth mod is uh, some things you cannot say. The eighth mod is body sliders for particular things. The 15th most popular mod is what it says right there. <laughs> there's another, there's another, there, and, and here, okay, the mod I just pulled in the game, 
That's the mod number 25. The 25th most popular mod in the game is this mod. You know, we could fix performance, we could like improve quality of life in the game, but uh, modders got a priority and they are working on something really hard. Really, really hard on something they are working right now. So, <laughs> I guess subscribe, join the Discord. <laughs> and thank you for watching.